Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, we're back with another video on this Sunday evening and we're going to speak about narcissists and sex in this video. I've done this topic before but somebody mentioned in the comments they wanted me to speak on this again. They didn't know if I did a video on this or not and I did but I was even planning on doing another one anyways because I even leveled up my own thinking towards this topic myself and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this video because of it. So, whenever it comes to narcissists and sex, they want to use this against you. They want to use this as their number one tool against you to gain control and power over you. This is what they want to do. The reason they do this is because they already know in their own minds that they're fucking batshit crazy. They know they're crazy. They do. They know they're psychopaths. I've had some admit to me that they were. And they're going on saying, I'm not claiming to be no angel. I know I'm a psycho. And when you hear that shit, believe them. Trust me. Believe them. And just look at them as a joke and pretty much laugh. Because that's what I did. And I could sense it. They knew I sensed it. So they didn't even bother to hide it. And the reason why these individuals will use sex against you is because they, they're not good enough for you up here. They're not good enough for you up there. They can't be on your level when it comes to true intimacy. They don't do true intimacy. Um, everything involving these people is trauma. Every single thing involving these demons from hell is trauma. The sex is trauma. Any relationship you do have with this person is trauma. The conversations you guys have, it'll leave you trauma on it. It just, it messes up, it messes with your own mind. You see where this person is mentally and you just, you cannot go there with, with that individual. You can't go down to where they are mentally because if you do, you're going to get trapped down there and you're going to get sucked into their own world. And that's how the narcissist defeats their victims, by trapping them, by, by getting them hooked to them. And when they do this, it's like, it's like wins for them. They control you, they control your thoughts, they control your thinking, they control every single thing about you as a person, and all of a sudden you lose yourself. And sex is the number one thing they use against people. They might see you out and about, at a club or something like this, they're going to want to try their hardest to get with you that night because if they do, they know there's a high percentage of a chance they're going <clears> to <throat> they're going to soul tie you with the sex. They're going to pin you down. They're going to they're gonna think they own you after this because they're insecure. They can't be a normal, regular person and just stay calm, relax and have a regular conversation with somebody and start to get to know somebody because the narcissist knows they can't win like this. They can only win through their trauma. They can only win through lying and manipulation and using sex as a weapon against the prey. That's why you'll see good looking girls and even like some dudes at the club like they, they will try their hardest to sleep with somebody and then there's dudes that just want to thump and dump which it's still not 100% right to do but like it's better at least we'll say it's not quite as evil as what a narcissist would do because they want to do this and then they want to continue a relationship with you they want to continue a bond after this and this was like the seed they planted 
by getting with you and now that's that was the point right there now they think they have the right to talk to you a whole bunch because that's what they did and now they're gonna go on like that so that's what they do you gotta watch out for individuals like that it's just this shit happened to me and it's crazy I see where I went wrong I was so weak compared to what I am right now like you take whatever looks good in the moment type thing and that's just it's not the right thing to do you realize when you grow and you mature as a person doing shit like that is just not worth it having that one moment of pleasure is just not worth it it's like taking that bite out of the bad apple and all of a sudden you're messed up you're done for it's no different with them like messing with the wrong people in this world really takes a toll on you it can really set you back it can set you back years it can cost you your life it can do horrible things to you it really can and there's nothing fun about it. <clears throat> and I just want to add this in too that if you do get with a narcissist and it happens like in one of those things that I explained, like you're at the club and they get you you guys end up having sex and then all of a sudden they think they just own you after that you're you're in a very dangerous position you have to cut this person off you have to especially if they're being weird because that's usually what they always do they're very weird individuals very very weird they don't understand intimacy they don't understand empathy they don't understand that other human beings have feelings they think I don't know what they think I don't even understand why these individuals try like they need to humble themselves and take the time to go and get help because they need help they want certain things that other people have but they're never gonna have it because they're, they have too big of egos their heads are too fucking big. They don't want to change. And they know something's wrong. They all do. And they still don't want to take that time to go and heal. To get better. But they want to keep continuing to do. All the bad shit that they do. To other people. And they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn about hurting anybody else. They don't give a damn about anybody's feelings. They don't give a damn about saying ignorant things to you to bring you down they don't care about anything like this they do it and it's nothing and like it's just mind-blowing whenever it happens to you it's like how could a person do this to me how could a person say certain things like this to me it, I, I could never say that to a person that's just how you think in your head <clears throat> whenever something like this is going on and this is an individual you must cut off forever forever whether it's somebody that was close to you parent friend cousin family member it does not matter you need to cut that person off because people can become toxic and you will be the next as long as you stay around this person and you let them in your life you have to let them go and you have to let them talk shit because they're going to talk shit these people are evil they have no remorse for you the more happier you are the more success that you have all these things being a regular person like being happy living it up doing any of these things it just crushes them they think you're doing this like to them they're like they they take that they take it the wrong way you live in your life and without them and being happy 
is a slap in the face to them and it makes no sense. It makes no sense, but this is how it is. And the brighter your light is, the more it darkens theirs. The more it puts them down, it puts them in their place. It shows them what they really are. Because they wish they were doing what you were doing. They wish they could be you. They wish they could have empathy. They wish they could be a smarter, more positive, caring person. They really do wish that. But they can't. Because they're fucked up people. And they'll continue to do the wicked shit that they do. And they'll continue to wonder why they're so depressed all the time. It just, it makes no sense. It makes no sense because they don't do anything to change. They just won't do it. Like, it's so messed up. How could you not do it? They are their own worst enemies. That's why they do all the shit that they do. They would rather do that. They would rather do that than what do what is hard. They don't want to face any difficulties in life at all. They're going to grow old and they're going to look back at their lives and be pissed off at themselves. This is usually what they do. And you see it. Any relationships I ever get in from here on out and like you know any any connections I have I, I don't want to I want to form a strong healthy connection before I do anything with anybody I'm not just lighting somebody up the first time I hang out with them you know what I mean Form a healthy bond first. Make sure of this person. Don't just give them you. Don't give them what they don't deserve. Because that's a huge mistake. And you can be the next victim if you just think something is up for the grabs. You might not, you might not have had something for a while as a person. Whoever's watching this video, you might not have had something in a while. Something might get thrown your way and it might look good, but it could it could backfire on you very bad. And all of a sudden that that one moment of pleasure is just turned into a nightmare. Because it is a nightmare. And you don't want these people on your back. These people are like hawks just watching you. I'm very aware of who I am as a person. You guys have to be the same way. You guys have to be very aware of who you are as a person and you can't let anybody disturb that because I let so many individuals disturb me as a human being. And you know what? I'm not even pointing fingers and blaming all these people because of you, because of you, I had to go through this. I never thought that way. Never. Never, never, never. It's more and mostly a my fault that any of this bullshit happened because I gave into it. I learned my lessons. I said yes. I didn't have to do shit. I didn't have to put myself in the position for any of that bullshit that ever happened to me in the past. I didn't have to do it. And I did it. I chose to do it. I gave, I gave these people chances. I gave these people way too much of myself when they really gave me nothing and I didn't even see it at the time but that's exactly what was happening I was giving them everything they were giving me nothing but fake shit it was just all watered down everything the way they talk it's watered down like the things they say it's watered down it's not true when I say watered down I mean if somebody says I love you that they're not telling the truth and I'm talking about one of these individuals, one of these narcs. If they say those words, they don't really mean it. People tell me to this day that they love me and I just, I don't feel it. I'm being totally honest. Like, I felt love before from certain individuals and I felt it. There's certain individuals that tell me they love me. 
I don't feel a thing, and you know what? I know who you are as a person, and I know you don't love, you do not love yourself. You cannot love anybody else if you don't if you do not love yourself. That's just the way it is. You have to have value within you to love anybody else. There's people that are so far gone that say these words, and it's just like <sighs> you do not know what love is. You do not know what it is. So. It is a very strong word. It is, and I do not respect people who just throw it around and think they can do that and use that word as manipulation. They want people to, they, they say this because they want people to love them. They wanna, they wanna do all this bullshit to you. They're gonna have sex with you because they want to trap you. They want to keep you. Because they're psychopaths. It's not a real bond. They don't have real love to give. They don't have anything to give. They're empty vessels, but they want what you offer. This person has a lot. I'm going to trick this motherfucker. That's the way they think. This guy has a lot. I really want what he has. I'm going to do everything in my power to trick him. Because I really want this right now. And you know what? They're so quick to just throw that away. And another reason why sometimes they'll throw it away is because they know you will catch them and discard them and they don't want that to happen either because their egos are so big. They might throw you away before you throw them away. Because they know it would happen. They know you're not going to put up with their bullshit. They know you're just nothing. And that's just the way it is. This is nothing but truth. I sit down, I stand, I, I sit in front of this camera and I speak nothing but truth, guys. This is all truth. And it is the way it is. These people are figured out, they're exposed. And none of these individuals could ever fool me again. They can't do it. I won't let it happen. I got myself back to where I was supposed to be. I defeated narcissism I broke it narcissism is designed to break you I never let it break me I broke the rhythm of narcissism and came back to myself after all those years of feeling down of feeling not like myself I see everything for what it was. And it's amazing. It really is. There's a point in time where you're fresh into you're fresh into it and you don't ever know if you're ever gonna feel happy or the same ever again. And you will as long as you keep going and discover the truth and try to see your past for what it was. Try to see the situations you were handed, see them for what it was. That helps you heal. See these people for what they are. So many people lose confidence because they got discarded by a narcissist. Um, you should lose zero confidence because you got discarded by absolutely nothing. By nothing. These people are dirt. They are codependent, unhappy people. And like there's codependent people in this world most likely that are not a narcissist, but like there's everything to do with a narcissist is just off. Everything about the person is off. When you think of the word narcissist, it's just trauma. Trauma, trouble, torture. There's no other way of saying it, there's no other way of seeing it, so. I'm gonna end this video here, and guys, just. Watch out for the predators that that want to have that that quick sex with you. You gotta watch out for it, cause they'll get you, and you will feel the effects even if you do it one time with that person. Like over the weeks, over the next month, you're gonna feel something with this person. You're gonna feel connected in some sort of way with this person. I've been in these situations and I I know what it is.
I, I've, I've done it. And you don't want to do it. You don't want to give them that. Especially if they act that, like, it might be this, like, sweet-looking girl. Th this hot-looking girl. And she might come up to you and, like, be all in your face and, like, making you feel a certain type of way. And you might like it. That, that's a red flag. I'm telling you guys right now, the right, the right woman is not going to do this. If the right woman even seen you and she wanted to approach you or you approached her and you guys started talking and she was as into you as you are into her, you guys are going to exchange numbers. You guys are going to add each other on social media quite possibly and hit it up and start talking and maybe go on a date or something like this, hang out, see each other somewhere else, and then work your way up to it. But the narcissist is all about that quick shit. Watch out for that quick shit. That's what it is. Narcissists cannot do, they can't do it the right way. They can't. So just beware of that. I'm going to cut this video off now. Um, I talk enough about this before I get into more loops and I'll do another topic for you guys right now. I got some more stuff, so I will get to it. I'll be back.